Hey everybody, I just brewed myself a cup of coffee here because I need to stay sharp and focused. Because my god, this game drops breadcrumbs everywhere. I stand before you today to argue my case, to present my updated theory here on things, okay? I think I'm not crazy. Check this out. So I went back to the last recording and checked out that vision we had again. And I noticed something that I completely missed the first time I saw that, which is, and I, I wrote all of this down, okay? So in that recording, or sorry, in that vision, uh, we hear some lines being said, right? One of them is, you're not what they say you are. That's already a little bit suspicious, isn't it? And it was said in some kind of an evil voice. I'm not sure whose voice that was. Uh, could be a Typhon voice, I'm, I'm not sure. And then someone else, a human, says, can it hear us? Right? And then someone else, and I think this is Dayo Ikwe, by the way. Mostly because he was also in the call about Project Cobalt in the audio log. Um, he says, rejecting the new cell lines, fighting them off like an antivirus. And then at the very end of that vision, there's a shot of a human hand. And I guess all of this is from my perspective, right? This is a vision that Morgan is having. So it's like a memory almost. And I'm looking at my hand, you know? Maybe, so if I'm a Typhon and someone injected Morgan's neurons into that Typhon, maybe I am some kind of uh, mix between both, you know? Like I look at this hand and I go, holy shit, I have a human hand. As if the Typhon is doing that, you know what I mean? And here's another thing. Then I remembered, we saw another vision like this. I completely forgot about that. But remember the very first time we injected a Typhon Neuromod? We got another vision, right? I went back, I had to look a bit uh, where exactly that happened, but I found it. And this is what's being said in that recording, okay? Listen to this. Don't let them do this to you, again, with the same evil voice. I think that's Morgan's Typhon voice, okay? And then someone else in the distance, a human, says, it's in shock. The humans are referring to me as it, okay? How is that not a complete indicator that I'm not human in that moment? You know, like, I'm some kind of test subject. I am some kind of unknown to them. I, I'm a Typhon. I'm a Typhon. <laughs> and, and then I saw this again. Watch. Implant neuro, mirror neurons and Typhons, right? From Morgan to Mitsuku. So Mitsuku sends an email to me asking, I'm going to bring it up again next R&D meeting. Will you support me? Right? So me and Mitsuko Tokaji, I guess we're really trying to get this project Kopal to take off, okay? And then I say, sure, Alex will probably shoot it down, but say the idea gets off the ground, still have two big questions to answer. What's the test environment? And whose neurons are we talking about putting in them? Volunteers are a no-go. I say this, okay? These are my words. So I'm imagining this situation where... Morgan, me, Mitsuko, maybe even Dayo Ikwe and some other people were all really fascinated by this Project Copeld idea. And we can't let it go, you know? Like, apparently this sounds like we've been trying to get Alex on board for a while and he's been shooting it down all this time. And then we get to the meeting and I present my case, you know, and I say, oh, we can simulate it. So that's why I say, what's the test environment, right? We have already thought about this. And here's the thing, volunteers are a no-go. If we are in so desperate to get this project off the ground, it does not surprise me at all that Morgan, aka me, is willing to put myself on the line for it. You know, take my neurons, put them inside a Typhon. It's like I'm sacrificing myself for the science, you know? That's totally in line with the use, you know? Doing everything they can to evolve their company or whatever. Tell me I'm not crazy, right? It all lines up, but there is a big issue with all of this. And that issue is, it doesn't really fit with anything else that's going on in the game. That's like the big issue with this theory. There's something going on here for sure, and I think I'm, I'm right on some parts. But why are we simulating a very specific test of me being in an apartment, waking up and having to go through a... Helicopter ride, why not simulate a human life normally? 
Why would we need to go through all of that? And to go through all the different tests? In the testing chambers? I am still not quite sure. So I think the test environment referred to here is the apartment. It's simply the whole apartment routine. That's what that is. That's what we decided on. I just don't understand more than this, you know? I'm very confused how all of this could somehow fit in with the rest of the game. But I, I'm sure I'll figure it out, but... Boy, is it fun to just sit and theorize. When I, when I went back and looked at the recording again for the vision we had, I was so convinced. You know, I completely missed that it said, can it hear us back then? And you know what else? In that vision, you can briefly see the outline of Alex because he's fat. And I feel like he's quite recognizable. I feel like Alex was there. So in the end, I guess we got Alex on board with this project, uh, Kobold. I can't wait until we get some more knowledge about this. I want the next tidbit of information from an email or a note or even an audio log. Ah, well, yeah, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee now. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. You can probably tell. <laughs> okay, so we got in here. And there's no atmosphere, it seems. And once again, we have infinite O2. It's so weird. I don't understand why we have infinite O2. That is actually really weird. I hit... There's a phantom somewhere here. Ooh. What was that sound just now? Okay. Let me, uh... Check everything. Reload it. Reload it. What about the glue gun? Needs to be reloaded. What about my big-ass gun? The BAG, Q-Beam, I'm actually kind of low on ammo on that. Oh, you know what? This would be a good time to just sort of go through a little status update here and upgrade our shit. Okay, that's fully upgraded there. I don't really need the other ones, I don't think. What about this one? Uh, hmm. I would love to upgrade the Q-Beam because the Q-Beam has been quite the weapon. It's been carrying me a little bit here. I am running low on ammo for it, so that's there's that. But I can't manufacture more of it if I need. This one? Okay, so you know what? Neuromods? C can we get the next stage? Probably not yet. Oh, we need six. Holy shit. Okay. Dang it. Uh, is there anything else I need to, be, need to be doing here? How's our status? Oh! Oh, shit! I didn't realize there was this... Okay, cool. Typhon material in your system is just below the threshold where station turrets will consider you a threat. My god. I need to start paying more attention to the fucking UI here. How long has this been here? I didn't even realize there was a radiation either. Cool. Is there anything else I need to do? Uh, inventory... I think I'm good. Let's save the game, and let's go. I want to use more grenades here. And, you know what? We gotta use some combat focus. We gotta, we gotta actually use the combat focus. Oh, man. Let's see, where are the enemies? I know you're in here. Oh, God, this is a huge chamber. Oh, God, he's close, isn't he? Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. What kind of operator is this? Let's, uh, let's release it. Yeah. Go this way. Yep, 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 yep. Sweet. Engineering. I wonder if they'll fight for me? That's a question, isn't it? Is he upstairs? Cobalt 410, engineering class operator, ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Operator approach. Ah, there you are. Uh, I think there's someone in here because someone used a glue gun. Mechanic facilities? 
Oh, is he, is he right in here, isn't he? I saw lights flickering. Oh yeah, he's in here for sure. No? What the hell? Where is this guy? In any case, uh, we could tight null, null wave transmitter that, actually. Or we could just... Stun gun is not going to work on the voltaic ones. Shuttle control room. No matching keycard, unfortunately. Security locker. There's the recycler over there. That's nice. Ah, there he is. There he is. Let's scan him. Bastard. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made. By the Very nice. Community. Let's see. What did I get? This one? 50% less damage from electrical attacks. Alrighty. I need to read the entries for these guys as well. When I get enough of them. Because the entry change. The entries change. Uh, okay. No mimics here, huh? Very surprising. Is that radiation over there? No, it's it's green. That means it's fine. Radioactive waste. Yeah. Damn. Shuttle bay. I get it. That's why it's so huge. It makes a lot of sense, actually. When you think about it. Security locker. Oh, I can get in here. It's really nice detail how the sounds are a little bit muffled. When you're inside the spacesuit here. There we go. Thank you. You know what the best part about this game is as well, among a million other things? It's just walking around, looking at the environment and looting things. God, I just love that. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Yo, that's cool. That looks like the space shuttle. Literally. Almost the same, except this. Oh, Space Shuttle Orbiter. So it's being transported up by solid, solid fuel rockets. And then it's being separated. And then it has wings for re-entry. Just like the Space Shuttle. Oh, what the hell? Someone was having a party. Scott Parker. Shuttle control room. Thank you very much. And a note. Sorry, Annie. Annie, I know you'll never read this. I ran out of my office when I heard you screaming. But there were just too many of them between me and you. You were always really nice to me. You didn't deserve to die like that. And now they're in my office and I'm surrounded out here in this cage. I can't help myself much less you. Or even Mia. Even when I try, I still screw things up. I'm sorry. Oh. Did he kill himself? How did he die? I don't see any... Indicators of... Or maybe he drank some poison. Wrench fabrication plan, like... If you don't have a wrench at this point... Wait a minute. You find a wrench, don't you, in the beginning of the game? I didn't even have to craft mine, I found it. Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Uh... Is that a floating turret? Oh. Oh. Oh shit. We've got a technopath. Uh... I am so scared of these guys. Whew. Airlock! Oh, shit. Okay. How do we even get up there? Let's uh, stop this. There we go. And open this one. There we go. Okay, I don't think I have much to recycle anyway here. Uh, no extra weapons. 
This is all looking good. You know what? Actually, instead of having two stacks of these, maybe it makes sense to uh, recycle some of this. Just so I free up an extra place, you know? I can even split this a little. I don't need that many. Place. Place. Wait. Oh my god, this system is so confusing. Okay, there we go. Recycle that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Kind of want to clear out everything down here before I... Is that guy going to aggro on me while I'm down here? Come on, man. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Here we go, here we go. Look at this guy. Fucking manipulating turrets around him. There we go, Machine Mind 3. Force robotic enemies to end hostilities and fight for you for... Bro, does that work on the techno guy? That would be crazy. What is the difference? Oh, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. So wait, if I take this, does that work? Yeah, I feel like I gotta try it. That seems really good. But then again, I also want to do a bunch of other th things. So maybe not yet. Okay, that guy's marked now. I need to restore oxygen to this place if it's possible. Airlock. Nice. Now we can get outside if we want to. I mean, obviously we're gonna do that. Love going on spacewalks. Ascension Shipping Company. That's a nice logo with the arrow pointing up. That's cool. Look at that little office up there. Cool. I don't think that guy up there is going to aggro on me down here, so... That makes me feel good. There's also stuff down here. I'll get to that later. I think it's time to somehow get up there. And face the music. <laughs> we got a... Uh... Also, there's a Voltaic Phantom here, so... Yeah. Air supply system malfunction. Okay. Let's see here. You know what? Let me quickly read about this guy once more. Because I feel like the EMP is kind of useless against them. Hold on. Uh, data. Research. Voltaic Phantom. Here we go. Uh, weaknesses. EMP. Really though? Because it doesn't feel like it. I've thrown a bunch of EMPs at them. Nothing happens. Uh, maybe I missed. Let me try again. Or an operator. And I have to remember combat focus. Let's try this this time. So I'm going to EMP combat focus into silence pistol, I guess. I have a lot of ammo. Yeah. Let's try it. Get this carpet out of the way. Yeah. Wait for this guy to come over here. Wow, he's just walking around. No care in the world. Okay. Uh, combat focus. Yo! Wait, why did that work so well? Maybe the EMP weakens him. It doesn't actually stun him, because I was expecting... The EMP to sort of make him go, you know, like, unable to move or something. Maybe it amplifies the damage I do. I didn't quite pay attention to the numbers there. I was quite busy shooting. That's awesome! EMP confirmed not shit. Okay, we've read that book. It was shite. Ah! Another EMP charge. Thank you. Oh! Hello! Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please oh, seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Come here. I'm gonna glue you. That's right. Oh, you are annoying. Ah! 
Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> cool. I actually didn't mean to use combat focus there, but uh, I think it's a good thing that I start using it because it seems quite good. You're basically slowing down Tom, right? How is that not good? Allows you to aim much more comfortably in the heat of the moment. Oh no, who's this? Mary Stevens. I wonder if she ever did marry Steven. Probably not. Okay, give me that. Tooling room is what this place is called. Donna Culera. So those are the ads for all the goddamn cigars we see everywhere, huh? Those ads have been effective on the Talos. What the hell? Someone went a little nuts here on the drawing board. Weird. That's vandalism. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Oh, I've got breathing apparatus. Got it all. Okay. Scott Parker. Utilities? Graph shaft controls. Oh, those are the elevators. Warning. Please ensure there are no persons inside the gravity shafts when activated or deactivated. For a second, I thought the screen was broken, but it's my helmet. <laughs> Activate. So now I can get up and face the music with the techno guy. Emails? From Frank Jones to Scott Parker. Get your shit together. Hey! I don't know what problems you got going on, and I honestly don't care. Just get your work done on time because you're holding me back. Wow, what an asshole. You could say that a little more friendly. From Scott to Anastasia Uriegas. That's a new name. Draft help. Oh, so it was never sent. Annie, I lied to you the other day when you asked if I was okay. I'm not. There's something wrong with me, but I don't know what it is. I don't eat. I'm tired all the time. I feel like shit. The only thing I want to do is sleep, and even then all I get are nightmares. I want to see Dr. De Silva, but she said there wasn't anything physically wrong with me. Wanted me to see Dr. Cole, Warning. but I said no. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. I'm reading here. I know Frank would just give me shit if he found out I was talking to a shrink. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You've always been nice to me. I guess. Maybe I just wanted someone to remember me after... <laughs> and then he went on to do this. Maybe he was, uh, getting the heebie-jeebies from, from the Typhon. Okay. What's hiding behind here? Nothing. Okay. Locker room. Okay, maintenance access only. Let me eat some food. This carpet is just in the way, isn't it? This carpet does not tie the room together. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Oh, nice. What's that? Okay. Thank you. I hope these little Morning. sounds. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Jackpot! Now the glue cannon. I have so many fabrication plants. I wonder if I can disassemble the fabrication plants. What does this say? We need to put a stop to this! Whoever keeps making duplicate items, stop! Fabricator is not a toy. Materials are not unlimited, Tim. He's he's right, man. Do not duplicate items. You know what? I should make. Uh, I should make. Let's think. Can I make ammo for the for the big gun? I don't think I can. Yet, at least. Hmm. What do I need? 
I have enough of that. I have enough of that. Enough of that. This is the this is the only one that I really sort of need. Maybe some grenades. You know? Maybe some uh What are they called? EMP charges I have enough of. I want the other one. What's it called? Null wave transmitter. Do I know how to make that? EMP charge. No, I don't know how to make that. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. I need to be climbing on more things. Okay, it's the time to take the graph shaft. Face the music. You know what? I wonder. I could probably get up there by force if I were to use my glue cannon and just. You know? Hold on now. Thank you. Why am I so violently pushing these toolboxes lately? Am I getting stronger? Okay. Where were the graph shafts? I saw them in here. At some point. Also, I wanted to go up here, but I was scared because of this thing. Seeing me, but I think I'm okay. So... Here we go. Frank Jones. We saw him in an email. Hacking time! Whoa, that was close. It's actually so hard to get there quickly without hitting anything. I just bumped into 10, ten things there. Let's see. From Frank Jones to Emanuela da Silva. Emanuela? I'm not mad about the HR thing, in case you're wondering. Word of advice. Warning. If things ever go to hell critical. here, you'll want to come to the shuttle bay. Oh my god, shut up! Escape pod E33, that's all I'm saying. Trust me on this, Frank. Oh, hold on, wait, what? Word of advice. If things ever go to hell here, you'll want to come to shuttle bay. Escape pod E33. Okay. Maybe I'll go find that shuttle. Lunch? Hold on. So Frank sends to Emanuela. Hey, Em. I switched up my shift hours today so I could have lunch with you. What do you say? Sorry. Busy. Wow. You could have at least said something more. He sh shifted his hours. How about today? Franklin, I don't like to be called M or Emmy or Manny or anything else besides Emanuela. And sorry, I'm working the lunch shift today, so I can't eat with you. Damn. Shot down. Pot repairs? From Alex! I need you to halt any work on the escape pods. The parts you're using aren't rated for those systems. You'll be informed of a new shipment when they arrive. Keep this to yourself, unless I tell you otherwise. Alex! With his finger in all the pies! I mean, Warning. I get he's the... Oxygen levels critical. ...president, but... Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. He's like... ...personally involved in email level with everyone, it seems. Which is kind of odd. I would expect him to have people working for him doing that sort of thing, you know? And he's doing something shady there for sure. Why does he not want them to work on the shuttles? Huh? Wait, where are these graph shafts I saw? Ah, there they are. There they are. So I could go up there now. Oh, wait, can I? Yeah, yeah they're on. So I could go up there, or I can go this way. Let me go this way first. He still doesn't see me. That just makes me happy. Oh man, someone was fixing holes in all the pipes here, look. What if I remove this? Okay, yeah. This glue stuff does seem to glue something on a smaller level because when I remove it now, it's still fixed. So it leaves behind some residue, I guess. Until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Oh my god, it's right up there. I'm not sure I'm ready to face this. For some reason, I am just so scared of these things. How does he not see me? 
Oh, look at the eye he has. It's like a glowing eye. What even are you? Some kind of huge metal telepathic enemy that controls turrets around him. What if I take care of the turrets? Will he not be able to do any damage then, I wonder? Okay. Tom Buzz Cooper. Looks like a mimic got him. Information booth. Oh man, he's right in there. I don't want to go in there. Oh, this looks nice. Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or... Okay, I'm gonna take him on now. Technopath. Let's see. Weaknesses, electric, explosive, psychic, EMP. Okay. An operator. It's EMP time then, baby. Oh wait, he's not here? Oh, okay, okay. I thought this was where he was. It's like a security booth. Blaine Cooley. Suit repair kit, shotgun shells. Nice, some good loot in here. Wait, someone's aggro on me. Oh, it's the Technopath. I think he spotted me. But will he get, get up here is the question, right? Security station. Okay, quick hacking. Quick hacking session here. There we go. No, no, no. Wrong button. One of these days, one of these days, I'm actually gonna fail one of them. Ooh. Shit. Where did you come from? Come here. That's right. Bro, I wonder if weapons do more damage in combat focus. I mean, the sound is different when you shoot, but it just feels like there's more oomph to it. You know? Warning. I wonder if there's something to that. system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Area map downloaded. Email. From Nils Kerkel to Shuttle Bay Security. Help! Anyone still there? We're trapped by the escape pods. Escape pods, huh? Okay. Ah, oh, that just scared me. Little UI element. Let's check out the bathrooms, huh? Love this art. Look at that. Kind of hard to see, though. That's better. I don't like that they have the same art on both sides, though. Come on. There's always mimics in the bathrooms. Oh, it was already broken. Look at that. A beautiful vase. It's broken. Come on, Mimic. Come out of the toilet. I know you're there. I do wonder if I can restore oxygen to this place. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Speaking of. Evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. I'm an engineer. I can fix it. There we go. Wells. Maybe that was it. I hate opening toilet doors in video games. There's like a solid 20% chance that something's gonna happen in some of them, you know? It's always like that. Toilet brush. Hmm. 
Okay. Am I finally at this point where I can... Is it right here? <sighs> okay. Here goes. Combat focus. EMP. Oh man. Hey, sir. Are you Are you like them apples? Okay, okay. Oh, there's Warning. a fucking thing here. Supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Oh, I'm doing decent damage. This is not bad. This is not bad. Let me try and hit the turrets. Oh, I don't even see the turrets. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, now the turrets are there. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Holy shit, okay. He makes like a little uh, electrical thingy there. EMP time. Maybe the EMP is what disabled his abilities. Come on. Okay, he still has a lot of HP. Okay, slowly going down. This is probably not the most efficient way of doing it. But I kind of want to conserve my QB ammo. Oh! Yeah. <gasps> Scary stuff. We got to use a... Another one of these. Fuck you! Yeah, you want some? Run! Whee! Yeah, you could say that again. Warning. Come on! Critical. Oh, shit! Am I out of range? Oh, that's so cool. Come on. I got you! Oh, man! So much HP! Combat focus finally being utilized here. Oh, man. At least we got a turret out of it. Hey! Are you gonna... Scanning target error. Insufficient Typhon material. Damn right. Good. Type 15 I get from that. Holy crap. Okay. I did it. Let's dispense an operator. So why the hell not? Ah. Tight. This is harder than it looks. Even though it's not hard. You know what I mean? Requesting new operator. Do we have any trauma at all from that? Oh man, I'm so happy I actually did that. I feel like my fear of them finally has been overcome a little bit at least. Transdar Cobalt Four Ten Engineering Class Gracias. Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Typhon ganglion. Man, I'm gonna take necropsy. It's time, I think. Damn it, we don't have enough. Yeah, we do have enough. Nobody, we need five in total. Okay, shit. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's wait then. We can wait a bit. Old Sardar Warning. Bourbon. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Look at this. First you have to remove this thing, then you have to get in with a coffee cup. Sky Lounge. That sounds fancy. Very cool. Oh, look at that. They have like a little fireplace in here. Isn't that a little bit risky? 
airy fancy stuff. Oh, fuck you, man. I can't hit anything right now. That's right. Come here. See you in hell, bitch. Ah. Oh, there's someone here. Eddie Voss. Transcribe. Uh, Mr. Yu, this is Eddie Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. Oh. It started small, just uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Warning. Pharma's food not on the safe Oxygen list. Well, I don't know, maybe you don't pay your tax and hardware enough, but uh, Lily got ambitious after a while. Started stealing neuromods, fabrication plans, selling them to trans star rivals. Holy shit. Yeah. Sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. Kazma's got our IP now. Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos so uh, <clears throat> we could uh, use them as dead drops. I'm certain a few of them still have company property. Three taps of the wrench will pop it open. Anyway, I, I just wanted to say uh, <clears throat> I never meant for things to get out of hand. It just. Uh, Took on a life of its own, but I'd, I'd like to make it right any way I can. That's all. Bro, you don't want to be saying that shit to someone like Alex. Are you crazy? I feel like he may have been murdered. Look at him. He didn't die to a typhon, I don't think. His face is normal. Maybe he was actually taken. Ah, uh, probably not. Who would take him out right here? That would be stupid. Oh, broken turret there. So, there's, uh... Alarm panel somewhere? Like these? We'll pop them open? Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Did I hear that right? Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Wait a minute. Can I activate this and just walk around again? So I, I just want to hear that part again. Play. Uh, Mr. Yu? Nice. This is Eddie Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. It started small, just uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Pharma's food not on the safe list. Well, I don't know, maybe you don't pay your tax and hardware enough, but uh, Lily got ambitious after a while. Started stealing neuromods. Come on, get to the good part. Plans, selling them to trans star rivals. Yeah, sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. Kazma's got our IP now. Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos, so uh, <clears throat> we alarm panels. Could, uh, use drops. I'm certain a few of them still have alarm panels. Also, look at this looking glass up here. That's just so cool. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Get up there. Warning. <laughs> supply system malfunction. That's Please funny. Evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Oh, there's actually a path. No fucking way. Look at this. Huh? Pilot planning room. Pilot? Didn't we read about someone being accepted? Like they were like, welcome to the Transtar family. You, you're going to be up on board a shuttle soon and you'll get here. Congratulations. You've been hired as a pilot, right? We read that somewhere. Galel safe. Safe, this is Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? 
Ooh. I don't know why I can't reach anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. All right. Shit. Investigating cabin. I have a sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Oh, shit. I guess the pilots are simply piloting the shuttles to and from Talos 1. I guess he couldn't really dock, I guess, because people in here had a bit of an issue. Galil Saif is on the floor. And we got a quest out of that. To investigate... Uh, what was it? Derelict shuttle. Hunter Hale, pilot of the shuttle Exalt. Send a mayday not too far from the station. Might be worth investigating to see what happened. I could use a security station to track Hunter Hale, pilot of the shuttle Exalt. Speaking of security station, we should try and track Josh Dalton. Because I have a feeling we may have missed him in the guts. Because he was supposed to be in there, right? And I didn't have him tracked. I had someone else tracked at the time. And I do believe there was a security station somewhere in the guts. Actually, I think it was in the magnetosphere room. Shuttle control room. Very nice. Dude, I love that they have this little secret of walking up through the looking glass into this little vent, dropping down into here. How cool is that, huh? Look at that. So they launch from Earth. And they get into orbit around the moon at first, and then they get into Talos 1. By the way, when you see Earth from here, Earth shouldn't be that big, by the way. Like, it's it's nice for the game, of course, but realistically, that Earth should be much smaller. Ugh. It's just a nice little detail, though. Let's see here. Crew meeting. Looks like a liquid fuel rocket engine. The nozzle, main fuel valve, all that. Pre-flight inspection procedure update, flight lock security clearances. Hazard training, pilot medical checks, read your emails. Shuttle advent. Captain Rebecca Smart. Is that her name, Smart? Flight engineer, Joe Spires. Passengers, Gustav Leitner. Oh, Gustav Leitner, that's the pianist. Plus assistant, Carolyn Wheeler. Aha. Very cool. Can I turn on this projector? Oh, it is on, but there's nothing in it. I want to see movies, damn it! I am drinking way too much tea on this station. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Okay. So now I'm on this side. These are the... Yeah, I know exactly where I am. Freaking awesome. I love the level design. Can we see this shuttle exalt from here? I guess if the, this is the docking bay, it would be close to the docking bay, right? This is not the docking bay, though. This is somewhere else. I love this space station. It's amazing. I wonder if I can technically crawl around up there. If I make a path all the way up. I don't want to try that. Moonshade lemon. Escape pods that way. Mechanic pit, pilot lounge. Oh, it is already broken. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Ah, now we're on the other side of this room. Awesome. I love how everything connects together. Ah, oh, this is a better view. 
Look at this shit right here. Transtar. Huge billboard. Thank you. Oh. I'm having immense fun with this game. It's crazy. I'm so happy I'm playing this. There's actually a non-zero chance I may have missed this game entirely for the rest of my life. Imagine that. That's unreal to me. So these should be the escape pods? One of them was uh, important, right? Escape pod 33 or was it a shuttle 33? Maybe that's the same thing. Probably not. Escape pods and shuttles are different, right? Hello? Is someone... I'm in the escape pod with Emanuela de Silva. Wait, live? Stuck in the launch tube. The hatch on the outside is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. There's an override switch behind the panel to force a pod launch. Don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. Okay, I... Yep, okay. Es it, was that live? Is someone calling me right now? Hold on. That's crazy. Frank and Emanuela are trapped in an escape pod that failed to launch completely. The exterior hatch on the launch tube is stuck. If I get to the station exterior and blow the hatch, the pod can be manually launched. Holy shit. Blow the shuttle bay escape pod hatch from the station exterior. I mean, we gotta go out there anyway. We have to find the exalt, right? Someone is also stuck out there. Dude. This is crazy. Okay. Can we get to save people? Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna do that next episode. I'm gonna take a quick break and get myself ready for this. Have a good one. Bye-bye.